It's time for the Bantamweight Showdown between Louis Sanodakis and Sean Johnson. TriStar Montreal's Louis Sanodakis has long been one of Canada's top bantamweight prospects. With 10 pro victories in some of the world's top regional promotions, Leonidas looks to prove he's ready for a shot at the next level. His opponent will be Indiana's Sean the Brutal Noodle Johnson. Never one to take an easy fight, Johnson is an experienced veteran of the fight game but tonight he feels he is prepared for an upset against the top-ranked Canadian. Let's cut to the chase. It's time for this bantamweight battle between Louis Leonidas Sanudakis and Sean the Brutal Noodle Johnson. Gentlemen, the back protect yourself at all times, obey my cans at all times. If you wish to touch gloves, do so now. Back to your corners. Ladies and gentlemen, this BTC Bantamweight USA versus Canada matchup will be decided in three rounds or less. Veteran referee Todd Anderson is our official for this one. Touch of gloves and we are underway between Louis Sanodakis and Sean Johnson. I don't think Sean Johnson can get more composed and relaxed and just loose in there. He's just having the time yeah. of his life. He was so excited to come back and fight here in Canada. We got to see him compete against uh, Cody Kovancek. Oh, a nice kick there from Louis. And uh, very, very durable, tough, awkward to handle. Throws a lot of unorthodox things. So look for that to come. I'd say that was the toughest fight Cody's had in his Nice start to his career. Louis in the southpaw stance, Sean in the orthodox stance. Trying to get the kick to the shin there. Was saying, and Santa Dacus goes up high with a high kick. Yeah. That's a good weapon against the southpaw versus orthodox. That left body kick, left head kick. Throwing with a lot of heat here is Sean Johnson. Just misses with that uppercut. And here we engage in the clinch battle. Todd Anderson had to get out of the way there. <laughs> Almost got run over. When we talked to Sean, he said the, being the better wrestler will win him this fight, so we'll see what he can do here as Sanodakis tries to force the takedown here, or the clinch at least. Sano Dacus will pin Johnson here up against the fence. He's going to get now this. Takes yeah. the fight to the ground, right in the side control. Nice inside hip position, body lock, throwing Johnson right to the mat. Oh, gives up his back here. Not a good spot to be here for got, Johnson. Got those hooks in, looking for the rear naked choke. Again, only two minutes in. You guys are still fairly dry. Just under two minutes gone in this one. Trying to fight the hands here is Johnson. Trying to turn into the fence as well. Oh, it's not. Chokes, it's on the chin right now. It's on the chin, but he's going to look to force the crank and then maybe open up to get underneath the chin. It's a lot of force on your jawline. But right now it's hard to see from our angle. Now he's Johnson out. Johnson gets, fights the hands and escapes. Sandra Dak is thinking about the ground and pound. Sean Johnson has about almost 20 fights combined with his amateur record, so he's well experienced guy, been in a lot of positions and situations, so you can see he's very comfortable. Doing a good job here on the two on one, but again, with that body lock on, it's hard to shake Sanodakis off of him. Yeah, Sanodakis as well. When you look at some of the guys, he's fought Cody Gibson, who's back in the UFC. I mm -hmm. mean, he's fought a who's who of 
really talented fighters across the globe, as we said. Not to discredit Johnson, who was very active last year and fought the toughest of the tough on the regional scene. But he's in a tough spot right now with 114 left to go here in the first round. Gets the tap. That's a tap. That's it. That was a wow. face crank there from Louis Sanudakis. Took his time, did Sanudakis, and he gets the first round submission. It looked like it was more on the side of the neck there. Um, it must have been enough to, to get at least that one side, that one carotid artery and force the tap of Sean Johnson. It was hard to tell from our angle, but regardless, Louis Sanodakis gets the first round rear naked choke, takes no damage. BTC fight fans, please put a round of applause together for both of the fighters in the center of the cage. Your tap out came at three minutes, 55 seconds of the first round for your winner by neck crank submission. Louis Leonidas Sanudakis. Louis Sanudakis won back-to-back -back fights. As Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Louis Sanudakis. Louis, pretty much a flawless victory. He came in here, got the takedown, got the RNC, took really no damage. How good does it feel? It feels really good to be back in here after almost two years. My whole family's over there. My mom came to town to babysit the baby here, so I'm excited about this win. It's been a while. Speaking of that, you said it's almost been two years since you've been in the cage. How quick do you want to get back in here? You got the win now, no damage. Is, do you want to get back in here on the June card? Anybody in particular you want to fight? Yeah, I'm going to talk to my guy, JD, and we're going to figure it out. As soon as I can, I'm going to get back in here, 100%. I love BTC. Uh, I appreciate uh, the way they've been treating us all week. One of the best promotions in Canada. Lastly, anybody you want to thank, sponsors, coaches, friends? Yeah, I'd love to thank uh, Farah Zahabi, Eamon Zahabi, uh, Ian Perot, my whole family, my wife, my brother, my sister, everyone for coming and uh, supporting me. Uh, I want to give a thank you to my guy JD, who's been hooking it up for a long time, and uh, everyone back home at TriStar. All those guys are the best. I look forward to seeing what's next for you. Congratulations. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Louis Sanudakis.